So before we dive in, anyone have any questions or anything? Whoa. Yeah, where are we starting from? Okay, so we're basically going to dive right into basically standing outside of Sterling and Sons Silver Corporation, and it's going to be the three of you and Nancy about to head on an adventure. Man. Silver and Sons, evil corporation, after hours. After hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, you guys ready? Any Any last minute questions, comments, concerns? Well, um, no questions, comments, or concerns. I will, however, say that in re-listening to everything from last time, I realized that uh, Nancy is coming with me, and my farm is being unattended, and I did not, in fact, tell my mortal enemy neighbor across the street to take care of my animals. <laughs> Call him. Call him before we go. I don't like remember before... your neighbor's name. Me uh, Jim Jimbo um, Scrabble Pants. He just moved in. That actually doesn't he... sound that inaccurate jimbo scrap um, all pants? i know is that his <laughs> wife and i have a muffin battle going i think yes mm -hmm. we just recorded like a 15 minute intro that you maybe heard five or six or more weeks ago um and now we're we're hopping back into our official first recording post hiatus i guess we're still in hiatus but we're planning on not being in hiatus when this airs um how's everyone doing Pretty good good Again, I, I have I, a question yeah would that mean that we're pre post hiatus we are pre post hiatus but the people listening to this will know that we're post hiatus so we're nice. pp pp hiatus we are pp hiatus uh okay so we're gonna we're gonna just dive right back in like like nothing happened um and we are going to find the three of you and nancy needless standing outside the ruins of silver and silver Sil Sil silver and sterling sterling and sons silver corporation there we go got a little tongue tied gotcha. there and forgot my own name um now this i want to let you guys know this is the absolute last chance before we dive into this adventure where there have been multiple warnings about wrapping business up does anyone have any business they want to wrap up um wait i kind of have a really funny idea i probably won't do it but i do remember that atticus is like on the verge of losing her job if she hasn't already lost her job because of absences and back pain um what if i just like pretend to get kidnapped so i disappear for a few weeks <laughs> I mean, you what? could. <laughs> and then I can come back and be like, I escaped. Can I have my job back? Because it wasn't my fault that I was kidnapped. And definitely no one can find me because I was in a mirror dimension. <laughs> you mean... know what? That's it. That's it. We're doing it. Okay. Okay. Atticus is like, okay, um, you guys don't have this problem, but I have the problem of necessary employment. So I'm just going to do a real quick thing and she dials up her workplace okay you here mayor's office this is rose speaking rose 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 it's Atticus. Uh, someone someone's after someone's after uh, uh, stop no and i hang up <laughs> and i'm like all right let's go yo poor rose. I, hope, I hope that one day when we come back if it ever happens that rose <laughs> isn't deeply trauma traumatized by this <laughs> I'm uh, sure there can be no consequences for that action. <laughs> Do you think I regret? Should I regret this? I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, let's go. Anyone else? Um. Yes, actually, because uh, due to the miracle of us taking a hiatus. And then uh, having to re-listen to the last episode because uh, it has been so long. I've realized that when I wrapped up my affairs, I did not, in fact, wrap up all of my affairs. In fact, there was one giant thing that I missed, uh, and it's the fact that I own a farm that has animals on it, and I left them under no one's care. <laughs> so I will now be that. calling my neighbor. <laughs> okay, you call up your neighbor, whose name I don't remember because it's been years uh, that you had a muffin thing with he's mr muffin man. we'll we'll call him 
Marty Muffins. Marty McMuffins. I, Marty McMuffins. Okay, you call um, up Marty McMuffins, and he says, uh, McMuffin Residence, this is Marty speaking. It's me, Marty Marty McMuffins. This is my voice. Uh, hey, Marty, this is uh, Cornelius from across the street. Ah, uh, Cornelius, how are, how are the muffins that my wife left for you? Uh, they were wonderful. Um, so I have some out of town business to take care of and i would have asked you this in person but i entirely forgot about it until i was already out of town uh so i apologize well in advance uh but one i am out of town so would you be able to take care of my animals and two if the answer is no could you please beg any of the other neighbors to like do that well cornelius i'm 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 reasonable muffin man myself uh as, as long as you uh promise to eat lots of the mrs muffins when you get back from your out-of-town business i'll take care of all your funky little critters for you oh absolutely thank you so much marty you're a lifesaver oh, absolutely quite literally the lives of my animals are in your hands yeah uh, you uh you enjoy your out-of-town business uh wh when when are you expecting to be back um, I'm not certain. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long. Um, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, no worries. This is my signing off noise. And he hangs up. <laughs> Man, it's going to be really awkward if we don't come back and I just never call him back. Maybe it's better off that you <laughs> don't call him back. You know... It's gonna be really You're awkward so right. back, and there's gonna be a criminal investigation because I was legally declared missing. <laughs> oh wait, I should probably undo that. I'm gonna. I call my office back, and I'm like, hold on a second, this is a bad idea. <laughs> you you call it back, and you hear like, oh, uh, Mary Love is this Russ speaking? Hi Rose. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is Atticus. I I thought someone was coming after me. It turns out it was just my friend. I'm so sorry to worry you. Um. Anyway. Uh, I just want to let you know um, that in doing so, I have injured myself severely. I have to go see a specialist out of town. Um, I understand that the mayor's office is threatening to let me go, but I sincerely hope that because of continual medical emergencies, um, perhaps he could just make a um, he could just make an, an, an a not fireable instance for me just this once. But I know that's not on you, Rose. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I didn't get kidnapped. Um, so sorry to worry you about that. Oh. oh. That's that's good. I'm glad you're okay. All right. Anyway, I have to go. The ambulance will be here any minute now. Okay. Bye, bye, Rose. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hang up, and I'm like, oh, oh, I think I dodged a bullet on that one, guys. Atticus, every moment you amaze me. <laughs> Atticus flips her, and she's like, I'm aware. <laughs> uh, Nancy says, Okay, are we done with the external affairs? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, everyone. Uh, now, when you let poor Jays get transferred, kidnapped, basically, into that dimensional place, what, what happened? What steps did she take? Uh, she went inside. She went in. Atticus, look around you. This place is a fucking wasteland. Oh, no, no, it's fine. She went underground. You just have to go underground. That's how you get there. Yeah. Um, well, there's like a hole. There's a hole. Uh, where's that worm? Where's the wormholes? That's where we gotta find. Attica starts ruffling around for wormholes. Okay, as you ruffle around for wormholes, you remember that Jace took an access ladder down. Uh, the, the thought has occurred to me uh, that there's perhaps an access ladder uh, uh, nearby. Hold on, I'm, I gotta get my. She starts like rubbing her head, like that's gonna help. Uh, you, you <laughs> She's very using clearly, divine sense. You see the access ladder. You go towards it. I, I point to it. And I'm like, everybody, don't worry. I have solved our problem. Which, dear listeners, I do apologize for uh, doing that. But, you know, it's been years. So I got to give them a little bit of a break here and there. Um, so the four of you travel down the access ladder um, into the dark, dark dark oh god cornelius Sorry. you dropped something I, I dropped the uh the rung of the ladder i was hanging off of be careful <laughs> about that <laughs> uh you all avoid the rusted uh now missing rung as you travel down deep into the bowels beneath sterling and sun's silver corporation 
And before all that long, you're back in that room, that vast, empty metal room with just nothing going on, but the air, it crackles with static electricity. Ew. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. kind of gross. I hold up my phone. Is my phone charging? Uh, No, it's not. Fuck. I, okay, I put my phone back in my pocket. Um. Hmm. Okay. Do you... my phone? Is, is it dark? As I'll get out in here. It's pretty dark in there. Okay. Well, I'm taking my phone out so that we can see. Okay. Uh, you turn on your flashlight, and sure enough, it's that empty room. Does anyone remember how to get into the place? There was like a button. You There's gotta a say button. You have a button to get out. Um. Don't we literally just say like open sesame? It's not you who has to say it. Um, oh, that's right. Boy. We have to. Yeah, we have to use voice recording. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, do you guys play the who, the voice who, recording? Who has? It? I think. Who, I think. Who has it? I think Whoever you has have it. it. Cornelius, I'm pretty sure you have it because weren't you the one who was, um, like, uh, uh invest? I'm not investigating. You were interviewing him in his cell, so you're the one that got that. Um, sure. That makes sense to me. Either that or you guys shared it on Schmoogle Drive. Yeah, it's on Blue Blue Drive. Yeah. Uh, so, Cornelius, do you do you play it? Yeah. Okay. Final call. We're all ready. I'm going to hit the play button. All right, let's go. Let's do all it. Right. All right. You, pre- you, pre- you press play, and you hear Argent Sterling's ghostly voice echo through the room. Open Sesame. And everyone can make a dexterity roll. Yeah, we can. Tell me why I went right for my d20. So did I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong game. Um, I got a three. Oh, shit. I barely passed, but I did succeed. Um. Okay, um, dexterity, dexterity. Oh, that's an extreme success on my great. end. Great. Hard success. Awesome. And Phoebe succeeded. How did Nancy do? Nancy did not very good. Okay, so (laughs) as you get reoriented, you all land softly on your feet, and you take in that the reason your landing was so soft is the vast desert before you. Sand dunes rise to your east and west, and the air whips hot in your face. Nancy... Uh, lands face first in the sand and goes and stands up and goes oh fuck okay Atticus looks visibly mad she's kicking the sand everywhere she's like I didn't move to New England so I could end up in another desert like I need out of here wait I lived in New England my whole life I hate the heat everybody and she's just pissed off (laughs) okay good to know Uh, okay what's what is our plan we're here now right uh, what do we need to do to get out? Um, um, we have to find the others because we have the exit device um, that we are 100% sure if it's going to work or not. But once we find the others, um, we just get them all in a group and then we test it. But first we have to find the people that are literally trapped in here. Henry, Jace. Um, I'm sure there's other people in here too. Okay. Uh, thoughts, suggestions? Uh, this is... Oh, she uh, like looks around. She's like, I don't see anything. Atticus wants to roll investigate to see if there's perhaps like any indication of um, civilization or people in a specific direction. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Oh, would that be spot hidden? Uh, Yeah, that should work. Okay, that's a success. Okay, so you head to your east a little bit. There's a spot where the dune rises to a fairly manageable elevation so you track over there and as you stare out you see what looks like it might be a uh uh maybe like a half submerged in sand kind of like like a gas station um mini mart okay uh well my guys it looks like the direction is probably this way towards hopefully people that are still people all right i mean it's as good a lead as any all right you guys start heading over there 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Atticus wants to take extra precautions and cover up her footprints as she starts walking. Yeah, you very quickly see that the sand is doing a pretty good job of covering your tracks with the wind. Oh, okay. Um, and you all make about half progress before you start to feel a rumbling deep below the sand. And as the rumbling continues, um, you see the sand is spinning down into like a whirlpool as a sharp row of teeth begins to poke its way up. Five bucks says that's a sandworm. Five bucks says I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Nancy says, you cry, I'm running. And she starts booking it. Uh, Attica starts booking it. <laughs> Yo, she's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also booking it. Okay. Uh, I guess everyone, same. Everyone roll dexterity again? No. Okay. I guess hey. I can't make you. Hard success. Extreme success. I got a four. Um, we just barely passed that. All right, good. I'm very glad. Um, so you all run and step foot on a slab of concrete sticking out where the, uh, you know, the, the mart would have connected to the rest of the gas station. And as you turn back, uh, you see the worm, it gets closer and closer, but it turns away before it collides with the gas station and whatever else might lie below the sand. And uh, with the threat gone for now, you turn around and see the uh, the entrance to the mini mart. I knock on the door. Okay, uh, sand kind of blows off of the door. The, the lights are off. It doesn't look like anyone's home. Oh, fuck. All right, well, uh, I guess I just... Actually, no, I'm not going to just walk inside. I'm, I'm smarter than this. Um, am I? Well, I'm not smarter than this. Phoebe, Phoebe walks in. Okay. She kicks the door down. <laughs> okay, you uh, kick your foot into the glass door, and the glass actually shatters. Um, Ouch. And uh, wind and sand now pouring into the gas station. Do you, do you guys enter? Yeah. Yeah. Nancy shoots you a dirty look, Phoebe. <laughs> As she too goes in. <laughs> Is there anything worth stealing in here? Uh, you guys see some bags of chips, some candy, uh, some soda. It, it it looks like it's been fairly well looted, but there is some relatively unhealthy snacks left. I'm taking that. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, consider all of it now inside of my bag. Um, you grab a huge chunk of stuff and put it in your bag. Um, Do I get I'm Dunkaroos? Also stuff, whichever she doesn't take. Okay, you each get a pack of Dunkaroos. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Vanilla or chocolate? Whichever one you guys want. Vanilla. I'll take the chocolate. Wait, wait. I want chocolate. All right. Well, I guess you'll take the chocolate. Uh, Phoebe. No, no, wait. You guys. There, there, yeah, we could split it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. <laughs> So let me give you guys a little bit of a rundown. You enter in and there are three small aisles uh, adjacent to you, uh, to your left, middle, and right. And to the right is a uh, cash register. I open the cash yeah, register. Know. Okay. You uh, head over to the other side of the, the cash register and there's a woman on the other side who uh, leaps up, goes, <laughs> and uh, points like a, like a shiv at you and says, don't come any closer. Atticus puts her hands up and she's like, uh, did you not hear me when I literally knocked earlier? Yeah, I don't know who you are. Why do you think I hid back here? Who the fuck are you? I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> I mean, sorry. Wait, I'm Atticus. Sorry. I'm Atticus. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Oh, is that what you said? I thought you were getting back yeah. into character. <clears throat> no, no. Atticus goes, I don't know. Who are you? And then repeats oh wait no i'm atticus realizes now is not the time to be sassy uh the the woman says lily uh what what are you doing here looking for people and food as she shakes the dunkaroos at lily where are your friends get them out here too they're she, I, hey uh 
uh, Phoebe and Cornelius and Nancy Needless um, come meet this lady who's pointing a knife at me. Nancy yeah. said, Nancy, Nancy comes around the corner. is like, Ooh, nice knife. Um, and the woman says, thank you. Who, who the fuck are you guys? What, 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 what? When did you I'm get sorry. here? Just now, like literally two minutes ago. Okay. Why? Can you, can we, can you, can you put the knife down? She glances behind the three of you guys, uh, the four of you, you guys actually, why? and puts the knife down. What do you mean, why? I mean, why the fuck would you come here? To get people out. But why would you come here? <laughs> I don't know if Lily had a choice, let's be honest. How would, well, how does she know that we don't have a choice? True. Facts. Lily. All right, fair enough. I mean, people get tossed in here, but the, the last woman, Chase, she said that, you know, there would be people coming and that things would probably be different. Are you, do you guys know Jace? Yeah, we came looking for Jace. We, uh, we act, yeah, we know Jace. Wait, 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 hang on. That was too easy. Do you guys know anyone else who's here? Oh, we know Henry. You know Henry? Yeah, we, uh, kind of started having to figure this out because Henry got tossed in here and then Jace went in after him and then we realized, oh, faith, fuck, there's no exit. So now we're here to get out, to get people out. Oh, well, I guess that. Okay, uh, Blorbo, we don't we don't need to worry about that anymore. Blorbo? Uh, you guys turn around and standing behind you, holding like a huge club behind his head, is this, is this large, kind of pale looking man who says, oh, Hello. What the fuck? I'm Blorbo. I'm Atticus. What are you guys doing here? Uh, getting attacked, apparently. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah. Yeah. And Lily says, yeah. no, no, Blorbo, we're not... We're not attacking them. They're... They know Henry and Jace. And Blorbo says, oh, okay. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Blorbo. What's up, Blorbo? I'm Phoebe. Hey, Phoebe. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Just don't hit me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he puts down the club. Thanks, man. And says, Thanks, man. Do you guys have any comics? <laughs> uh, Atticus digs in her bag and she's like, I have a Wendy's uh, deal catalog. Oh! And he grabs it. Great. She's like, my $2 off cheeseburger. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Phoebe pulls out her, her own illustrated version of Cryptids Alive and she hands it to him. Oh, he's like gobbling it down with his eyes. Yep. Uh, oh, I thought he was like actually well, eating it. And no, I was he... like, no, my coupons. <laughs> <laughs> and Lily says, so you guys have a way to get out of here? Maybe. It's hopefully it's not. A, it's not 100 percent. So don't get your hopes, you know, out the roof. But we need to find everybody else that we can before we try to skedaddle because it's a it's like a one and done kind of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, can we go now and we can get out of here as quickly as possible? No, we have to find- did you not just hear what I said? I know, it's we a can one get to in... the others as quickly as possible. Oh, that, yes, okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, are you guys good to travel? Uh, she shoves more Dunkaroos in her bag. Okay, good. <laughs> Does anyone else need anything while we're at the mart? Phoebe runs over to the soda case and she grabs a Mountain Dew Voltage. Okay, it's the last one. <laughs> Is there any Thank God. I love me. I love me some blue water. drink. Uh, Cornelius, did you say you want water? Yeah. There's no. He's water. checking for water. No. Is there Mountain Dew Code Red? There is Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> I take seven. Okay. It's the last seven. <laughs> Damn it! I should have said I take seven. <laughs> it, it you're so fucking smart. Free plan. <laughs> um. <laughs> Armed with a veritable boatload of Mountain Dew and Dunkaroos, um, Lily guides you out over the sands. Um, and as you travel, she says, Yeah, it's a pretty Frank Herbert out here, to be honest. What does huh? that mean? Y you know, like Dune. Oh, I was going to make that joke earlier, but I didn't want to be like, ha ha. No, no, it's pretty Dune in here. We've been trying to figure out for years if Sterling liked Dune or anything. 
You've been here for years? Years. Oh, yeah. I mean, about three for me. Some of the others have been here even longer. How many people are here, by the way? Oh, well, you can meet them all when we get over there. There's just a few others that you are they know. like thankfully all in one group one area that we can all just leave like one together everyone's together yes hopefully she grimaces and says the important ones are oh oh, oh listen let, let's get you over there and uh then then we can sort all the nasty details out okay um, so i take it there's wasteland politics then Oh yeah, we got we got wasteland laws going on. I will trade with my Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm rich. Mountain Dew is actually pretty worthless here. Uh, water is a lot more valuable. Yeah, well, if you guys don't know uh, my reverse secret alchemy techniques, I have the ability to turn Mountain Dew code right into water inside of my own body. It's very amazing. Can you roll the lie to this woman? Yeah. <laughs> I got um, a three. Uh, let's see here. Oh, man. Unfortunately, um, you needed a two to win. Oh, actually, that's fine because I'm pretty sure. Where's my lying button? It's fast uh, talk. Where's my fast? Oh, <laughs> where's my lying button? Oh, my God. I actually passed. I don't have any any points in fast talk. It's a five, but I got a three. So I technically succeed. <laughs> Her eyes go wide and she says, wait, really? But only for me, I have to drink the code red and then it's transformed inside of wa into water while it's inside of me. Um, so says, I'll be fine. Blorbo says, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Blorbo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and traveling in the same direction that you guys went to get from where you landed to the gas station, you continue on and you see what might be like the, the peaks of buildings sticking out from the sand and Lily leads you over to uh, one particularly tall building um, still sticking like three to four stories out of the sand and you can see at the base of it is what looks like a uh, like a flap protecting the exterior from like the sand and the, the sun and as you start to get closer you even see a few people sitting out there who turn as you start to get closer. Hello! Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Lily taking the lead uh, kind of skips over the last couple hundred yards and is like, guys, guys, look! Look, we have an alchemist and they have a way out! Uh, uh, what are your guys' names? Uh, I'm still Atticus. I'm Cornelius. Yeah, I'm Phoebe. Nancy says nothing. Um, but at the mention of your names, one of the figures uh, stands up and starts charging towards you. Uh, Atticus braces herself. Oh, no. um, uh, it's actually not you or Phoebe that needs to brace themselves. Cornelius, uh, can uh -oh. you roll constitu constitution? I can't even talk today. Man, I guess I could do that. Oh, well, that's uh, an extreme success. Okay. Uh, Cornelius, you see Henry Lane run up to you and whip his arm back as you quickly dodge out of the way of an incoming punch. And he whoa, skids whoa, in the whoa. sand, turns to you and says, What are you doing here? Saving you! What are you, what are you doing? I gave you such explicit orders. I said, do not come for me. We talked on the phone. I told you, just take care of my mom. Why did you come here? We haven't talked to huh? you. We the last time we saw you getting stuffed into a van. Dingus. What? No, no, no. We, we we talked. We talked on the phone. I talked to all of you. You said you wouldn't follow me in here. Um. No. We did not talk to we you. Heard from you since we saw you getting kidnapped. Um. Why do you think we sent Jason here? Which was a mistake, by the way. I. Uh, what? Um, I don't know what are. I like look at him. I'm like, man, are you having some kind of like me mega heat stroke? Uh, he he drops down in the sand, and uh, you guys see Jace come up and say, oh, "It's really nice to see you guys again." But Jace, why? Oh, we 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 all talk to you. I don't understand why you decided to come in here. We didn't talk to you. The last time we talked to you was when we sent you in here. 
Like no, 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 no. Beforehand. Uh, uh, your your phones, your phones, and she starts snapping your fingers. You get service whenever any someone someone new comes in. We called you guys. I I swear. You didn't call us, Jace. I open my phone and I, sh- I Atticus doesn't delete anything in her phone. Um, and she shows her her call logs, and there has not been a call to her from Jace. No, 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 no. What the hell? What the hell? Who did you talk to? It was this sounded just like you guys. Uh, hold on a second. She calls Cheese. Okay. Uh, you you dial Cheese, and you hear Atticus. Hey, Cheese, how's it going? I'm just checking in real qu- real quick. You still um. Taking care of that business I needed you to take care of? Oh, of course. How's your journey? Just getting started. A little confusing. Um, how's, um, how's my dog? Your dog? You have a cat, Atticus. Oh, sorry, sorry, Cheese. Um, that was just a quick test. Just had to make sure you were on top of things. Of course I'm on top, top, top of things. Goodbye. And Cheese hangs up. That was weird. He said he was on top. When you were talking to us, did any of us echo as we were hanging up with you? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys kind of stuttered, but figured that was no, just you no, were emotional. Mm-mm. That's that's strange. That's strange. None of us have a stutter that I know of. Uh, Cheese just stuttered. Someone else, quickly. So someone else, call someone. Uh, I I call my bro. Okay, you call your bro, and you hear Phoebe. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. How how are you? Good, good. Hey, I just wanted to talk really quick and uh see how Gouda's doing. Oh, Cheddar is a okay. Nice, nice. Um, so listen, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be back for a little while, but you know, just want to let you know. Uh, take care of the cat for me and everything. Will do, do, do. Goodbye, and your brother hangs up. Yeah, that's really fucking weird. He did the he he did the stutter he echoed, too. Did he echo three times? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, if any of you've called anyone since you've been here, uh, just basically pretend you haven't. Henry is like he was on his knees and he just kind of rolls over onto this hand, just looking completely exasperated and defeated. Anyway, now that that uh, mysteries aside, um, quick question, two things. Um, we're gonna try and leave. Um, the other people here. Uh, how many other people are here? Um, are we leaving them here? Uh, Lily kind of kicks Henry a little bit, and when he doesn't move, she says, "Oh, come on, let me introduce you to the other two," um, and leads you over to the uh, the entrance into the building. And there are two gentlemen. Uh, one of them is a rather frail-looking old man with a wild look in his eyes. And to his right is a, uh, a handsome man uh, in his maybe early to mid-50s uh, with these bright blue eyes. And uh, just something about him fills you guys with warmth, like, a, like seeing an old friend. He's just got those good vibes about him. And uh, Lily says... Well, uh, that that older fellow there, that's uh, Dr. B, Dr. Uh, Dick Von Benson, I think, something like that. Uh, And to his right, that's Arlo. And the old man uh, skirts to his feet and rushes over to you, Atticus, and says, Hello, Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Let me ask you a question. Have you heard... Of the gentleman's dilemma. Yes. He looks astonished and he says, you you have? Yeah, I uh, I had a dream the other night um, about a, the gentleman's dilemma. It's something about pissing and then saying bless you. He looks astonished <laughs> uh, as if you have... <laughs> rock this man's whole world and he says oh not so fast young lady you're, you're, you're on the right track you say you saw it in a dream and he's like writing something down in a notebook and it's like morphogenetic squats she like squats down to his level she's uh, like did you sit here old man what <laughs> it's you isn't it 
What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know how to leave. I can feel it. Oh my god. I'm just trying to tell you about the gentleman's dilemma. <laughs> my bad. That's back. She doesn't look unsuspicified, though. Don't let the name fool you. This applies to any single human being on the planet. Now, he marks, makes a note of that. The object of the dilemma is very simple. You are in the bathroom. Doesn't matter what your business in there is, but the person adjacent to you, well, you know they are taking a poop. That person sneezes. Now, here's where the dilemma comes in. Do you say bless you? No. And I'll tell you why. She launches into an... <laughs> A stupid rant about women not talking to each other in the restroom. Uh, he turns his attention to Cornelius and says, What about you, young man? Uh, of course you do. But you and, don't oh, interact at all after that. Of course. Ever again. And uh, you, young woman, over there? You Well, yeah, and then you hand them uh, tissue under the stall door. Fascinating. Fascinating, yes. Truly, truly an interesting problem with all valid and interesting solutions. And he gets real close to you, Atticus, and says, The gentleman's dilemma is the one surefire way to get out of here. And he backs off. He gets back up. And she goes, Whose piss do I have to bless to get out of here? <laughs> He laughs and hobbles off into the sand. She watches him. And then turns back to everybody else. And she's like, okay. Who wants to leave? Uh, everyone's hand shoots up. Um, but the, the, the other man who hasn't spoken yet stands up and says, whoa, 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 hold on a second here, everyone. We can't just leave Patrick and the rest of his ilk. And Lily says, Patrick's been gone for weeks. We are not waiting for him. We could wait a few days. A few t Lady, I've been in here for years. Dr. B, he's been in here even longer, and Arlo before him. We just want to go home. Okay, I, I get that. A hundred percent, I do. But you have to understand that uh, two things here. One, please understand this is not surefire. We built this and then put ourselves in here on the hopes that it would work. Two, if we leave, that's it. There's no way to get back in and then back out. Um, because uh, also quick show of hands, anyone here hate Ar Argent Sterling? Uh, everyone's hands shoots up in the air, except for Blorbo's. Blorbo, got... Blur, uh, Blurbo, quick, bl cover your ears, my guy. He does. <laughs> I've got great news. Uh, Argent Sterling, dead as fuck. Everyone's like... <gasps> Uh, and Dr. B races back over through the sands and says, It was the mermaids, wasn't it? It was the mermaids. Yeah, yeah. I already, I always told them, mermaids, they, they'd do them in. Yeah, we kind of helped. Um, but anyway, he did. So, you don't have to worry about him when you get back out. Henry, you're, he's not going after your mom anymore. Um, because he's not around anymore. But, like, once we're out, it's we're out. So, if we leave those people here... Those people are stuck here for the rest of their lives. You're, we're dooming them to this fate for eternity. Lily says, they stole half of our supplies and took off into the night. Forgive me if I don't care if they get left behind. Atticus shrugs. Uh, she turns towards Phoebe and says, come on, you you gotta understand the situation that we're in here, lady. We, we gotta get out of here. No, I, I, I stand pretty strong with Atticus. We're gonna we're probably gonna stay for a few days just to wait and see if everybody, you know. She casts a desperate glance towards Cornelius. Cornelius shrugs in response. Uh, she also falls over in the sand, exasperated. <laughs> what and difference is a few more days gonna make? Henry uh, sticks his hands and lifts himself up a little bit and says, "You're right." You're right. What's what's a few more days? Uh, what are we? What, what's your rules, Atticus? Right? Uh, yeah. Um. Uh. Well, fuck it. Two days. I don't really want to stay here that much longer either. Two days. If we don't see them, if we don't have a chance to talk to them, make 
either make peace, make amends, whatever. Two days, that's it. Fine. Good. Uh, well, if that's that then, can I uh, show you guys to your quarters? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, come okay, with thank me. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll show them everyone. Don't don't worry. Go back to what you were doing. And he uh, ushers you inside the building. Okay, I follow. Y'all going in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm weary, but I follow. I don't know. Okay. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> Henry says, so uh, what'd you think of everyone as he leads you down the stairs below ground? I think Dr. B is uh, definitely, uh, definitely the bad guy. Well, not the bad guy, but I'm telling you, that man knows how to get out of here, and he is just fucking with us. Yeah, I don't know. That so man says a lot of We just have to bless him. Maybe hmm? we just have to bless him when he's going to the bathroom, and then we'll all be free. Atticus is, um, is there like a window in this area? Not where you guys are right now. Atticus like wanders back over to the door, and she's like, like just staring at Doctor B, like very slightly. Okay. Is he sneezing? No. Atticus goes back to the group. Okay. <laughs> um, Henry kind of peers behind him as he, you guys start to get uh, down further and further, and says, "Listen, I know this might be a little redundant, but there's um, uh, there's some weird stuff going on here." I mean, yeah, this is like a alternate pocket dimension that we're all stuck in yeah more so than that and he ushers you guys into a room and closes the door and says so i've been here for you know a few months now uh some of these guys they've been in here longer but jace was the last one right mm -hmm. before yeah. jace got in and he uh reaches under a bed and pulls out a stack of magazines and he hands them towards you guys and he says before Jace got here, these appeared, and they're dated for after I got in. And you look at the magazines, um, and they're all fairly standard tabloids. There was a uh, a disappearance you guys all heard about some seven or eight years ago. Uh, a famous actor, uh, Richard Lorenzo, went missing, uh, and you know tabloids do what tabloids do, and. You know, every time you're in the supermarket, you see another headline, another Lorenzo clue, that sort of stuff. Well, all of these magazines are about Richard Lorenzo's disappearance. I told you. She, like, stands up and she's like, Dr. B, suspicious. Why do you think Dr. B has any interest <laughs> in tabloid magazines? No, I, she sits back down. I just think that that, that guy 100% knows something that he either doesn't know how to articulate clearly, um, or, um, he's just fucking with us because what actually, well, that's not true. I mean, Blorbo was very interested in like any piece of thing that he could read, um, do you think it's like, do you think it's Blorbo? Blorbo's, uh, not the brightest. I mean, I guess it could be any of them, really. Well, I'll say this. I know, obviously, it's not us three. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably not you, uh, clearly. And it's definitely not Jace. So we've got Lily, Blorbo, Arlo, Dr. B. Those are the four that are here, right? Yeah, uh, in this group. And then there's Patrick and probably four or five others with him okay uh, well i don't know i can't speak for any of the others but the only person who seems very strange to me here is dr b what do you guys think mm -hmm. i mean by I don't... typical people standards yes but i mean everyone's different <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'm a little weary of everybody here. That's fair. I don't know. Does do you think Richard Lorenzo was here? Uh, does he look familiar at all? When did this guy go missing? Uh, 2013, I think. 2013. Okay. So, have you guys seen anyone that's like a sparkly little movie star? Nope. 
You seen any bones? Uh, no, no bones either. I guess it's possible that Richard was zooped in here and then died and none of us ever found him. Hmm. Okay, well, so we know that someone... Well, actually, we don't even know that. It sounds like someone knows how to get out of here, but it could just be, you know, whatever, whatever whoever's in charge of this place is just fucking with us. Like, yeah. look at the phone. Look at the phone issue. What? What the fuck is that? I don't know, man. That was. It's kind of well, freaky. It's like they know us. Well. Uh, actually, well, this is just Henry. Henry, you're you didn't believe in any of your mom's like demon stuff, right? No, I, I didn't. Okay. No, do you now? <laughs> How can you not? Yeah, a hundred percent. There's something demonic going on here. Like I know this. I know Argent said he had made this place with like science and magic, um, but that phone call thing. Like, there's a hundred percent some kind of demon involved in this shit. Yeah, there's got to be something that's powering this place, and maybe it's a thing. Hmm. Do you think? Uh, I more so say this to Phoebe and Cornelius. Do you think if we called Stolos, we'd actually get Stolos, or do you think we'd get that thing? I mean, there's only one way to find out, I guess. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Is our phone still working? Uh, yeah, you see that it has about half signal left. Okay, uh, I call Stolos. Okay, you hear. Hello? Hello, Stolos, how you doing? Oh, I'm good, Atticus. How are you? Oh, you know, we're stuck in um, um, an interesting dimension that may or may not be, um, you know, one of the other sides. I thought Cornelius was the last one, and you shut that down. Yeah, there's this um, there's this like electronic one. Um, can you just? T can you detect any kind of, like, core or anything in this area? Or, like, even where we are? I'm sorry, Atticus. I can't even see, see, see you anywhere. Okay. Goodbye. And you hang up. Yep. No, that was not still us. Henry looks at you and says, You're awfully polite to that thing, huh? Um, I mean... Yeah, he's kind of helped us a lot. And... No, I... You know that you're not talking to your friend. Yeah, but I don't need him to, like... I don't know. I, I call Stolas back. Okay. You hear Atticus? I know you're not Stolas. You hear? What do you mean? Well, I know... It's... Clear. No one. You, every single time we call someone, there's a stutter. Every single time, three times. So who are you, Atticus? When you say that, you have to hold your phone away from your head because static starts blasting out. And through the static, you hear the following string of numbers. Hold on. Wait. Atticus prepares her <laughs> mind. <laughs> Is your mind prepared? And my mind's prepared. One nine two one six eight one zero oh, one one four four. Can you slow the fuck down? No, I got it. Don't worry. One nine two <laughs> one, six. Did you guys get it? I got oh, it. say it again. No, I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Here. Okay. And the phone immediately hangs up.
Hey everyone, it's Max here for your regularly scheduled ad break. What is up? Thank you so much for listening to Static in the Sands Part 1, our first post-hiatus arc. Oh my god, I am so excited to be here. Really hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, let's, let's talk about some stuff. First of all, Static in the Sands Part 2, well, that is going to launch May 16th on Patreon and May 23rd on the main feed, which means if you want to listen to it early, and it's still within the week that the episode came out, you can. You can do that right now at patreon.com slash 10cast. That is our financial support for the show. Uh, If you wanted to help us out, you know, it does cost money to deliver this content to you, Uh, but we try to make it worth your while a little bit. Now for $5 a month, you can get almost every single episode a week early. That is right. What a deal. What an outstanding deal. It's It's a miraculous deal. And then for $10, we thank you every single week during this portion of the show. And that is why it is time to thank Mango, Morgan Wolbrandt, Amanda Crondar, and Emmy Lynn Laderna for their continued support of the show. Thank you all so much. Did I tell you that your hair looks nice today? I like I like the thing that you did with it. It looks good. Ten dollar and up patrons. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you're having a good time listening to this episode, maybe your friend would as well. Please tell a friend about this as normal, please. I'll give you a second if you want to text them. You can, like, ignore the rest of this ad break and just text them real quick and be like, Hey, Betsy, it's me. I'm a listener to This Isn't Normal, and I want to tell you, you should listen to it. They have one and a half amazing seasons that you can you can stream on Spotify and YouTube and Podbean and, like, every podcast app you could imagine. There's so many podcast apps. I don't remember where I'm going with this. Tell a friend. If you want to connect with us on social media, you can do so on Twitter, preferably. Uh, you can find us at TIN underscore cast. Uh, if you wanted to post something about us, please use the hashtag TinCast or tag us. Um, there's so much great art out there. We love to retweet your art. Um, and if you know you also want to, you could join our Discord community. Uh, it's fan run. We love to we love to catch up with you guys in Discord. There's so many wild shenanigans that happen there. Uh, you can find that. It's our pinned tweet on Twitter. And if you want to, I really hope you'll consider uh, hopping on. I have a very exciting special this episode. Patrons, I'm actually going to... I am I need a favor from you, patrons, okay? Because this is going to come to you a week early. All right? No telling. No telling on this one. All right? You'll see why as soon as I do this. This is to Max. Not me. Not me. It's one of our listeners named Max. And Max, this is a personal message that is from James, and then in quotations, Larceny. I'm I'm gonna, let me tell you what, let me tell you what James has for you. Maxwell, Maxime, Max Wellington, Max U Abbey, you have made one too many jokes, and now I have come to reap the reward. Will you do me a favor and take my hand? To have and to hold, in the good old-fashioned, wedding-style way? To put it shortly, Max, will you marry me? I really probably should have given you a chance to, like, do something with that. Sorry. Uh, ho- hope you had a good opportunity there, but wow! Holy crap, isn't that exciting? Best, best wishes to both of you. Best of luck in all of your endeavors. I can safely say never in my wildest d- dreams uh, did I ever imagine... I would read a wedding proposal on This Isn't Normal. Congratulations to both of you. If you'd like to do a personal message or promote your Twitch channel or uh, webcomic, whatever cool things you guys are out there doing, uh, I I don't know. You can reach out to me on Discord or to, uh, you can email us at tincast13 at gmail.com. I mean, we're still like, you know, kind of coming back from hiatus. I'm really not trying to advertise it. Um except for like the three weeks that I have, of course. (laughs) But uh, $25 personal messages and $50 ads if you do want to have me read something during this segment. I'm sure there's more I could say. Leave us a review. Um, Man, I don't know. Shoot, how do you you top the wedding proposal in the ad break? You really can't. Uh, Anyway, next week, we're going to bring you Static in the Sands Part 2. Feel free to hit us up. Say hello. 
send us pictures of your dog. I don't know. We remember when I used to say that way back when? All right. I won't take up any more of your time. Bye. Shit. Please. This isn't even a bit. I'm, I'm hitting the button and it's just not stopping. Okay. Max, just for potency, can you can you confirm if that's correct? 192-168-101-144. Oh my god. Will you're you're a magic man. I got you. Okay. <laughs> uh well it's it's there is one typo in there. There's an yeah! extra nine. Fuck. But no, you did pretty good. Um and Henry looks baffled and says what the fuck was that? A demon. A demon? A math yeah, you... demon? Uh, well, you heard the static, so that's very demon esque. Um, math? I don't know. That I wasn't very good at math at school. He sits down in a chair and rubs his chin and says, oh, "What the fuck does that mean?" Um, what if each number is a letter in the alphabet and that's his name? He looks at you and says, uh, you can go ahead and decode that if you'd like. Ah, uh, numbers, numbers, numbers. What the fuck? Uh, maybe it won't matter. Maybe we can just get out of here in two days. We just got to wait two days, right? And we can put all of this behind us. Uh, that's if it doesn't like not work, which again, I can't reiterate enough that this might not work. What are the odds? 30% chance. Of escape? Yeah. But it's better than just leaving you all here to die. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's start decoding some numbers and some letters, I guess. Okay. Uh, are we telling anyone else about this? Uh, no, 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 no. The only other person we know we can trust is Jace, and Jace... Doesn't I don't think Jace knows a lot about demons. Jace knows about magic, but not a lot about demons. Then we keep oh, it wait. to ourselves. Aren't you, wait, aren't you magic? Henry, what's your magic power? Can you do magic? I don't have a magic power, Atticus. What the f were you not born in Sinsaba? Yeah, I was. What does that have you to do with anything? You didn't get one? What are you talking about? No. no power. Hold on a what? Hold on a second. Like you you stay here. Um Actually, we'll figure this out later. I, I'll make a mental note to talk this over with Jace, because, like, the laws of physics dictate that you should have a magic power. He raises his eyebrows and says, the laws of physics, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Phoebe, show him. What? I don't... I, what? Did I, like, hallucinate that everyone in Zinzaba has a magic power? I thought that's what... I don't think I, thought... I, could, I, don't think I could do it on command, can I? I don't know. It's your magic. I, I I had a vague recollection that I couldn't do it on command. I think you were practicing it. Oh, I snapped my little fingies. Okay, there's a there's, there's a momentary little little woof, as a fire is lit and immediately extinguished. And Henry says, "Oh, what the fuck?" Yeah, I forgot about that. Wow. How you did you forgot you're a firebender? Kind of. Like, I knew it was there, but for some reason I thought I could only do it, like, in a special circumstance. Oh my god, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> They're still gonna be able to do this on the outside. In fact, I think when we get out of here, you should definitely talk to your mom. Um, because if you were born here, like, I'm pretty sure that's a birthright. Okay, I will, uh, I will have a talk with my mom. Can you fly? No, I can't fly. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... Let's let's think about this. What 
what could a string of numbers mean to a demon? I mean, it could be a cipher. It could be a cipher. Let me see. Okay, so if the number is... Is it is it one nine two one six eight? Yes. Okay, so hold on. So if I put it through, like let's say that this maybe is like a an alphabet thing. I just want to see, you know. So we've got one nine, which could be nineteen. Two one, which could be twenty one. Nine six eight one zero, which could be ten. Eleven. And then four dash four. Okay, so I'm gonna see if this means anything. Uh, Atticus says, "Don't distract me for a moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna be thinking. Ignore typing noises." Uh, <laughs> Henry kind of looks at you as Atticus's face goes blank. Um, and in the meanwhile, uh, Doctor B clutters his way down the stairs and knocks on the door and says, uh, "Hello, uh, how are you all settling in?" Um, jarringly. Bad, Bad? jarringly. Well, well, what's going on, fellas? Let, let, let Doctor B take a take a, take a, take the little the load off your mind. Excuse me. What? What are you guys working on? What? Let old Doctor B help. Wait, hold on. Doctor B, I have a question. I have a see. I, I I have a mathematical equation for you. Okay. Um, what, what, what did, I'm going to give you a string of numbers. Okay. Give me, give me what, what, this is going to be a test. Whatever comes to mind uh, right after I say this. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 sure. 192168101144. What are you, connected into a little camera or something? That's an IP address. An IP address? Fuck. Okay. Um, Atticus blurts. I guess it's not S U I F H J K D T. He looks at oh, you and goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I thought it was related to the alphabet. No, it's, well, it's entirely possible. It could have been a cipher. One nine two one six eight. That's a that's a local network IP address. Where'd you get that? Um, Internet. The internet. I dreamt well, it. You just were you dreamt some it. sort of tabletop role playing game. I don't think I know too much about computers, so. Oh uh, well, I fucking dock somebody with that IP. <laughs> wow. He, he goes, how how the fuck? You can't dock someone with one nine two one six eight. It's a <laughs> local IP address. No, nah, I doxed him with it. Don't worry about it, doc. <laughs> Consider me not worried about it. So what, what, what does it mean? What, what does it get you? Let's find out. Uh, I'm going to access the internet in my, in my mind. Hold on a second. <laughs> you, you say that. That has the and, entire uh, internet database stored in her mind. Uh, Dr. B says we could just use my computer. You have a computer and it works? Yeah, electricity is a little funky here, but, you know, we, 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 got, we got some power. Okay, sure. Let's use your IP address. Uh, look up or fuck. I had to just access. I had to just get into Bing from my mind. Get out of here! I don't want to use Bing. <laughs> uh, Henry is like staring at you, eyes wide open, as you all exit and follow Doctor B uh, down. Come on, the Henry. Floors. Henry says, "Oh my fucking god!" Come on, Henry. Uh, and follows you reluctantly um, down into Doctor B's shitty lab, which is just another floor of this building. Um, but most of the desks have been tossed erratically around the room. But in the center is a beautiful shrine dedicated to a computer. And uh, Dr. B slides up to the desk in a chair, uh, opens Internet Explorer, and types in the IP address. And when he does, you all see a map. And the map... Give me one second, because I actually forgot to add a dot to it. Oh, oh, that's the wrong color. I'm so sorry. I'm ill-prepared. Max, how could you be so ill-prepared? I know, I'm sorry. Dude, your computer takes forever to load. No, no, it's loaded. I just... just... 
No, I was talking oh, to Doctor B. B. Yeah, yeah, Doctor yeah. B. Piece of shit. Well, that's Fuck because that he's guy. that's because he's using the Internet Explorer. Yeah, Doctor B, you have to learn about this thing called Bing. What the fuck's no, Bing? He's on he's on Windows ninety five. <laughs> of course, it's running slow. This no, is. I mean, I guess you have a point. This they're on like Vista. Windows. They're on like Windows six thousand now. Oh my god, <laughs> I've been in here a long time. <laughs> Did Beth Jesus ever invent anything? Oh no. Uh, okay. It's definitely not on his way to Mars. And here's the map that appears. Oh, cool. Okay, point of entrance, base of. Is that our base of operations? He like peers in with his little spectacles and says, "Yeah, yeah, that looks about right." <laughs> it's funny. It even has a name for this place. Do we need to go to question mark question mark question mark? He stares at it and says, "Well, that would make sense to me, but." As long as you have the way out, none of that matters. Well, since we got all this plot, I'm going to say that we're probably not going to get out of here. But uh, what do I know? <laughs> she looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. B peers at the three of you and says, Out of curiosity, how did you get that IP address anyway? Trade secret. Trade secret? Wizards. Wizards? <laughs> Sometimes the only way to know is to know, and she taps her head in a convincing manner. Uh, he nods knowingly and says, Well, just remember, the gentleman's dilemma is only solved if you break social norms and confront the reality of the situation. Confront reality. Okay. So, um, am I correct in that you know how to get out of here? He goes, Oh! <laughs> and scurries off okay so i'm not even like half wrong i'm not even like a little bit wrong but whatever we'll we'll forgo that let's wait two days apparently <laughs> I, I like i like this guy <laughs> henry looks at the path dr b took looks at the three of you and just collapses in exhaustion i, I like gently kick henry and i'm like oof gently it still hurts him emotionally okay i'm like come on henry let's just, you can do it let's just get out of here okay and uh well, no sorry go ahead oh no i was just gonna continue like murmuring sadly at him you murmur <laughs> sadly at him um does anyone have anything they want to do over the next two days is there a way to like print out that map so we can have that uh, no. Printer's all out of ink. Shit. I fill it with Mountain Dew Code Red. Around. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> can, I <use> <laughs> <Mountain> Dew... <laughs> can I use Mountain Dew? Can use Mountain Dew Code Red as ink? Do you pour no. it on the printer? No, no, no. I would not be pouring it on the printer. That's not even how you install ink. <laughs> <laughs> Is there paper around? Uh, yes. I'm gonna... What kind of screen does this computer have? A shitty one. Is it, like, a glass one? Or, yeah. like, one of the newer ones where if you touch it, it gets weird? No, it's a, it's a glass one. Alright, I'm putting this piece of paper right on that glass screen, and I'm tracing this whole map. Art. Nice. Okay, you do a pretty good job of tracing the map, which will be available on Twitter. Uh, what is our Twitter handle? Um, Tincast13? Um, Tinmybutt.com? It's just Tincast, Capital, I think. capital T-I-N underscore cast. My years of ad breaks came back to me. Uh, and you can also find it on our Discord. Um, but, so, you... Okay, Beth says eatmybutt.com is where you can find the map. <laughs> don't actually type that in. I don't know don't where look that at leads. That. Don't, do don't not do that. look that up. Don't do you that. You will not find what you're looking for. <laughs> Twitter or Discord. We're not <laughs> responsible if you go to eatmybutt.com. <laughs> I waive all of us of any liability. Uh, <laughs> actually, though, I don't know what's there. Please don't go there. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, so anyway, uh, Cornelius, you trace the map. Is anyone else going to do anything over the next two days? Atticus is going to attempt to spend time if with Dr. B, if not just blatantly spying on Dr. B. Do you, you just want to spy on him? 
Yeah, but, like, if he's gonna, like, let her stand near him, then she'll do that rather than just, like, spy on him. But if he's, like, you know, going about, like, his doctor business, um, then, and she, he's, like, you know, go away, Atticus, she's gonna be, like, okay, and, like, take a couple steps back and then just continue staring. No, I don't think he ever says, like, go away, Atticus. He just does his thing and you observe a maybe crazy man and doing wild things uh several times over the two days you watch him roll around in sand atticus makes a note every, every time he's done it okay you, you can't <laughs> find any- a single pattern <laughs> does he do anything useful <laughs> almost nothing <laughs> atticus looks half deranged by day two <laughs> uh what do the rest of you guys do um, I think about how uh, Divine Intervention has changed Dr. B's name to whatever it is now from Barry. B. <laughs> His and name soon... is Dr. Business. You know what? I also watch Dr. B, but in a, in a, in a way of like not driving myself to the brink of insanity, just in a way of like, what's he doing? Okay. You and Nancy. Kind of... Sorry. What, Mark? I was going to say, I was going to do that, too. <laughs> you can. We all just watched Dr. Gonna... <laughs> all of us from different angles just watching Dr. B. Uh, every time Henry sees one of you just watching, him, he just gives you the most exasperated look. And I mean, most of the time you guys are like all within 30 feet of each other, like hiding behind different bookshelves and corners and peering over stairwells. And every single time Henry's like, what the fuck are you doing? Kiss <laughs> is like, he knows the way. The the way? The way. Out. He knows the way, okay? Anyway, have you seen Patrick? No. Okay. Two she days goes back go- to watch. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna, no, I'd just say she goes back to watching. Okay. Two days go by, and uh, not a soul approaches camp, uh, Everyone is just sort of waiting around with great apprehension. And, two days uh, go by. Two days go by, and everyone gathers outside of the building. And Lily says, okay, it's been two days. Can we uh, can we go now, please? Yeah, sure. Um... And Arlo says, wait, 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 Listen, I know we said two days, but I really think... We gotta go find those guys. We, we we gotta at least give them a chance. Why didn't you suggest this two days ago? Oh, well, you were all busy. I was trying to find you. We you weren't. Were... We literally watching Dr. B because we all suspect him of some nonsense. Oh, nonsense is my favorite activity. Listen, Patrick, not Patrick, sorry, Arlo. If Patrick was meant to not be stranded here, um, then we should have, A, looked for him two days ago. Or B, he could have not fucked off with all your shit. Uh, so Lily, Lily slides right up next to you, arms folded, and says, "Yeah, mm-hmm, I completely agree. Can we get the show on the road, please?" Yeah, listen, Arlo, I get where you're coming from, but we said two days. It's been two days. It's time to go. He nods and says, "All right, let's get this over with." Okay. Once again, a reminder: this might not work, and she pulls it out. Okay, you hold the small remote with the big red button in it. Everyone, please gather as close as possible in case this does work. Everyone gets really close to you, uncomfortably close. Okay, and she pushes it. I'm going to be fair here. I'm going to roll. Unfortunately, that was not a very good roll. God damn it. And you press the button, and nothing happens. She presses it again. And you press it again, and nothing happens. I give it to someone else, and I'm like, someone else press it. Uh, Lily grabs it and starts mashing the button. Says, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Uh, But it doesn't. Nothing happens. You're all still in sand land, land of sand. And, uh... Everyone's just kind of staring at you guys. Atticus puts the thing back in her pocket, and she's like, all right, plan B, and goes back inside the house. Uh, what do you guys do? Um, 
I, I take the device from Lily. No, Atticus already put it back in her pocket. Oh, Atticus well, throws it I, back I, outside. I, I run after Atticus. <laughs> okay. I don't do that then. Um, you know, I go away. Away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I go into one of the buildings and I go to like a roof to keep a lookout, I guess. Okay. Phoebe? Um... Where did where did Atticus go? She went inside. I'm gonna follow Atticus. Okay. So as you guys head that way, uh, Lily rushes behind you and says, "What do you mean, Plan B? What do you mean?" This is hastily shoving Mountain Dew Code Reds into her bag. She goes, "Oh, I mean uh, that I'm gonna go try and find a way out because there's um there's some other shit uh, that's very mysterious and confusing as fuck. Um, but if we just sit here." Uh, like specifically, I mean, like right here. There's, we're not gonna find a way out. So I'm taking this Mountain Dew Code Red that I've got, and uh, we're gonna, and I point at um, Phoebe, and I'm like, and wherever Cornelius went, uh, and we're gonna try and find a different way out. Well, I want to help any way that I can. I'm sure okay. everyone else here would too. If you want to come with us, we can pack up and we can, you know, if especially if we're gonna have to fight. Um, <sighs> pirate patrick over here probably i don't know do you guys have weapons yeah we have some stuff uh i'll take you down to the armory what wait actually hold on before we do that let's i'm about to wrap up anyway oh sure okay yeah take me down the armory okay so you does cornelius come to is cornelius up on a roof yeah, I guess Cornelius comes down off of a roof. Okay. <laughs> he evaporates and ends up in the basement. <laughs> Cornelius, you, you get the feeling that you're missing out right now. So you uh, decide to promptly end your roof duty that lasted all of 30 seconds and uh, follow your friends and Lily down to the basement, defeated but not without hope. And uh, I think that's where we're going to end things for today. <laughs> Dang, Scruffle's trying to break the new doors. My pretzels, they're everywhere. My pretzels. Beth, what pretzels. a good callback. Thank you. <laughs> Mark, it still sounds like you're just eating your microphone. I know it does. That's even more eating. I opened the fucking door and she was halfway down the stairs again. Oh my god. Something like that. Okay. Hold on, first I gotta test this. Can you hear me better? It sounds about the same. Gosh, dang it. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. It's a little scrumbly today. It's a little scrumbly. What? And they just disconnected. Guys, technical issues. My cat looks scrumbly sometimes. Whatever you've just done that caused your technical issues actually made the audio quality sound a little bit better to It me. did sound a little bit better. Are you sure okay. you don't have a secret microphone inside of your mouth? I wish. Do you know? Do you know how? Do you know how cool that would be? I'd probably get electrocuted every time I drank water, but like that's fine. <laughs> that would be pretty dope. I yeah. Think. Okay. Be how, something. How, how is this? Is this? Is this okay? Atticus is looks like visibly pissed off. She's like kicking at the sand. She's like, I didn't move to New England to live and come to basic no Jupiter. Um, fuck. <laughs> No, Jupiter. Um, sorry, my cat was like, I want to roll, and just knocked my pretzels all over the floor. Your pretzels! Um, 